Right, hello and welcome to another video from up in Scotland. Uh, we're still up here on holiday and hopefully you've already seen the uh, video I did uh, when we were photographing dippers uh, down on the river there. That was just outside the holiday cottage you were staying in. Um, this time we've travelled about 20-25 miles northeast um, to a place just south of a, um, a town called Stonehaven. And if you can probably see behind me on the outcrop there, there's a castle. That's Dunotter Castle. Uh, and one of the reasons I wanted to come up here um, and take images of this castle was because of, if you've seen my other videos, and I'll put a link up here, um, I'm a fan of a photographer called Simon Marsden who used to take images of um, castles and churches and graveyards and take them in black and white and infrared film. Now, they came out really sort of uh, gothic, spooky if you like, and I do like that style of photography, so I've been taking some images like that recently with a film camera, so I was hoping to come up here and do something similar today with this castle, knowing that Simon Marsden has already taken images of it. As you can probably see, the weather today isn't really conducive to that. Um, we've got really low contrast, so what we're hoping for is the sun to break through and um, that would give us an opportunity to get that, those high contrast scenes that work really well with black and white and infrared. So anyway, I'm going to stay around here for a while longer to see if the weather breaks and we get some of that, but I'm also going to be taking other images as well. You know, we've got a wonderful coastline here, so there's um, potential for wildlife images and also, you know, just taking normal digital uh, colour images as well. So I'll be doing that for the next couple of hours. What if we don't get the weather that we're looking for, we may actually come back and, and try again when I think the weather's going to be conducive to infrared. So you may see some of those images as well. Anyway, I'll catch you later. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the film. And you can probably tell um, just by the light that we've we've actually we um, abandoned our first session up here and <clears throat> as I said we might do because the, the light was so grey and flat and we've for the last couple of days we've been just watching the weather and we actually go back home tomorrow so this is our last opportunity to get up here and we've just been keeping our eye on the weather hoping that um, we we're gonna get some dramatic cloud or you know some nice light Unfortunately, <clears throat> what we've been ended up with is um, a really lovely morning, if you like blue sky and sunshine, but for infrared photography, we really needed some detail in the sky and we've not got hardly any at all. There's a couple of tiny little clouds. I still am gonna do some infrared photography and I'm gonna do some normal photography on this vlog as well. So hopefully, you will get something from it and you'll also get to see this wonderful castle and I would advise you if you do get a chance to get up here and get the right weather I think this could be an absolutely stunning location for for loads of types of photography really anyway what I've tried to do with this shot I am shooting infrared at the minute sun's come up in the obviously in the east and it's behind the castle so we've we've walked around the cliff tops a little bit and because with infrared and black and white photography you're looking for that contrast because i haven't got it in the sky we do have and i'll spin you around so you can see on this shot you've got this lovely curve of um, cliffs that run towards the castle and because the light's coming in and playing off those and we've got deep sections of shadow and then really bright areas where the the sun's catching the cliff sides I'm sort of using that to lead into the castle and what I'm also doing is trying to cut out as much of the sky as possible to be honest because there's nothing of interest in it as you can see. Uh, there are some little bits of cloud coming over so you know if we stop here a while we may get a chance to do something slightly different but I'm not hopeful but we will we will stay here and see what happens. Anyway this is the first shot I'm going to shoot it in infrared 
the other problem I am having, um, when I tried to replicate the shot that Simon Marsden took um, when we came up here last, this film camera that I've bought, um, it came with a 50 millimeter lens. Now, trying to take the shot and, it, and replicate the one that Simon Marsden did from where I assume he took the shot, just can't fit it all in on a 50 mil lens. So I'm gonna to have to get probably a 28 mil lens. Um, one of the problems I find with old film cameras and lenses particularly is the prime lenses are really good, but zooms at that time, I'm not 100% sold on the quality. So although I could get a zoom lens, I think what I'm gonna do is get a 28 mil prime lens just to use for situations like that. So it gives me a little bit um, more of a wide angle to get everything in. Anyway, I'm going to take this shot in infrared and I'm also going to take it um, and try and get a wider shot actually with more of these cliffs in um, with my Canon digital camera and uh, if that shot's come out I'll show it you now. Right, well, we saw this shot initially. Well, we actually saw it when we came down a couple of days ago. Um, but as I said at the time, the light was really dull. It was a really gray sky. We came and had a look at it first thing this morning because um, you know that was one of the shots that we liked. But again, we'd got a bright blue sky. Now I think while we were overtaking the first shot, we saw this little slither of cloud come over so we've run back here to um, to this location and hopefully you can see behind me. It's just really giving a little bit of detail in the sky. And what we're doing, shooting straight down this valley, which again has got these cuts and um, spurs coming out. And then obviously you've got the castle sat on the far um, little island spur, if you like, right out um, in the distance. So. You've got really got a nice leading line straight through uh, with some lovely textures um, in these rocks. And as I say, because the, this little bit of cloud come over, it's covered the sun and just given, given us a little bit of detail in the sky. I'm, I'm shooting it in infrared. Um, it's not a shot I've seen be before in infrared from, from this location. So um, I'm gonna see what it comes out like. But um, when I say infrared, I'm using infrared film in the camera it's the Roly 400. Um, I'm using that in the camera, but I've got a, a red filter on the front. Now, strictly speaking, for infrared photography, you need one of the infrared filters, which are almost black, um, which necessitates you shooting on a tripod. Now, I prefer the method that Simon Marsden used, which is to use one of these red filters, which I suppose is, it gives you some infrared qualities to the image, but I suppose it's not true infrared. Uh, but what it does mean that you can do is that in bright conditions, you can hand hold the shots, which has been, um, you know, I've taken a few of the shots on the tripod, but I've also taken some where that's just enabled me, you know, when you're hand holding the camera, it just sort of, you're not tied to the tripod, you can try different things that you see, you know, as you see them and you can just take a quick shot. Won't know how any of them have come out, obviously, because I can't look on the back of the camera. Um, I might do a little bit of digital photography while we're here as well, uh, because I do, I just like this composition. So uh, I might as well take it in both while I'm here. And hopefully those shots have come out and I'll stick them up now for you.
Right, I think this is probably the last location we're coming to. We've probably more or less circled the castle, to be honest. Um, this will be a location that not many people come to because um, it's quite a, a way around the coastline and it's quite a, quite a bit of a climb down to get to here. Um, it's really interesting geology as well in this area. I'm not quite sure what, what the rocket type is, but it's like a concretion of um, boulders and then like a, a mortary type. It's like it's all been mortared in. And it's obviously been tipped a lot here because there's some sandstone layers that are completely on their end. So it's quite interesting geology, quite uh, grippy to walk over. So, and obviously the, as you can see, the seagulls love it because we're stood where they're normally perched, obviously. And again, that's a clue that not a lot of people come round here. Um, but this is the view that we've got of the castle now. We're actually further out to sea than the castle. Um, initially, I've taken some images with these rocks as sort of foreground, simply because I'm shooting a lot of infrared and obviously I'm looking for the um, contrast. So when you've got this really smooth sea, quite a smooth sky, and then the, just the grit of the rock adds that extra contrast. We have got a little bit of cloud in the sky now, which is helping. And when I've taken these shots, I've actually taken some as well with just these rocks completely cut out of the way. Um, so all you've got is the sea, the castle on the headland, and then the sky. It, that might work fairly well now. We've got some, a little bit of detail in the sky in the infrared, I'm not sure. And again, the problem or the, the thing you've got with shooting with film is that you can't see it on the back of the camera. So um, I have bought the digital camera as well. So I am shooting some shots with that. And that does give you an idea on sort of composition and things, but it's a little bit of more of a mystery what comes out of the film so yeah i think this is probably going to be our last location um we might do a little bit of wildlife photography while we're here because there's quite a few birds and things around and uh if this shot's come out i'll show it to you now <laughs> Right, I hope you've enjoyed these uh, two videos from up in Scotland. Um, we're heading back home tomorrow, so this is going to be the last one from up here. Really enjoyed it in the northeast of Scotland. As I said earlier, um, this is up near a place called Stonehaven. In a week, we really haven't had a ch chance to explore the area at all. Um, I really do want to come back and do some more exploration around the coast especially. Also want to come back up to Dunotta Castle uh, with some really dramatic skies and shoot that again. Um, I think that would be absolutely awesome and possibly would work well with astrophotography as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I um, hope it's given you some ideas, not only on sort of infrared photography, but also, you know, it's showing you a location that I've not seen an awful lot on YouTube before. So, um, you know, if you want to get yourself up here, then you've got a little bit of an idea of the lay of the land, so to speak. If you've enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel then please consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you next week for another video so yeah see you soon